Bosh, Bosh. Oh yeah, we got this article. This is courtesy of Hypebeast. It says Clubhouse enables text-based DM feature. Clubbase, uh, Clubhouse, Clubbase. Clubhouse is not stopping. They're trying their best to make the best of a worse situation. You know, there was that time when they were, you know, incorrectly, in my opinion, I made a podcast about it, when they were valued at something like $4 billion or something stupid, when they were at their peak and people were on the app every single day and they were the hot shit in the startup scene. When I decided to sign up and use it for myself after being lucky enough to be granted permission to use it because I had people that I knew who were part of the app already who kind of approved my application behind the scenes. I had no idea that it was an invitation only sort of thing, which kind of would have put me off if I knew that beforehand. But once I had a little play around, I quickly realized that this isn't going to have any legs past the pandemic. It kind of only really popped up in my opinion because of the times that we were all locked indoors with nothing much to do, kind of bored of watching stuff on Netflix, run out of stuff to watch on YouTube and, you know, now having this kind of audio only um, social media platform was quite novel, right? Quite new, quite interesting. And if there's one thing about novel, interesting things, they usually have a short shelf life. And after a long and protected period, after a quite long and somewhat short protected period of time, people kind of jumped off it. Other apps basically copied the feature. Spotify have got their own thing with Green Room. Um, Twitter have their one with Spaces. Facebook have a version two that I think Joe Biden was one of the first people to sign up on. So there's obviously... The feature was obviously easily copied and now their kind of, you know, unique selling point is kind of gone and people are kind of going in other places and platforms that they already use day to day. They're now pivoting and trying to add new features in order to kind of keep it somewhat relevant. So um, this text-based DM system is the following. It says Clubhouse will let users have one-on-one -on -one or group chat via direct messages. This is the explosive group. This will be the so explosive growth. So this will be the first time the social audio app will bring on a text-based communication system. All iOS and Android users, interesting, they've got Android now because at the start it was only iOS and they were quite snobby about it. Same with the invite only. Now no one's using it. They invite, they're opening it to Android users and they're adding a text-based um, messaging system behind it. It's is funny um the, the users can now use the back end sorry the back channel messaging feature for sending text and links no images or video are supported in this system yet the function will help users connect within the invite only app without any third party apps or social media platforms as well as other moderators that are there you can simply press the airplane icon to start a conversation we don't need to follow the messages to non -plap, to non followers. It will go to the optional inbox that houses all your messaging requests. Thinking about it now, how long before Clubhouse just becomes like a version of like Anchor? How long before they just have an app that you could use on your desktop computer or laptop or stuff? It feels like it's going to go that direction, and it it feels like it will just turn into like an all inclusive. Um, kind of you know live podcasting audio sort of platform that feels like the way they're going to end up going especially if they want to ensure people are using the app but it is a clever way to ensure that you kind of cook the numbers because i'm assuming if you want to go public you're going to have to have the numbers that basically prove that people are spending an exorbitant amount of time on the app and unfortunately because there's no um you know on demand kind of replay sort of option you have to no, you have to be kind of tuned in live it limits the amount of time people spend on it but then if you're allowing people to message people or mods or you know host whatever maybe on the app itself it prevents them from jumping onto facebook or instagram dms to do so so it increases you know people's time on the app and any increase whether it's spread even if it's spread across 100 people you know a couple of minutes here and there is going to add up in the end to your overall numbers when you're sending your um, investment deck over to the companies or whatnot i'd assume we can quick uh, should we play over this yeah, let's play it's not gonna play the sound is it let's play your feature alert it's just a little image, little graphic visualization that's showing us how it basically looks and works fairly straightforward with the little bubbles yeah let me see da, 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 da. yeah it's fairly straightforward it probably will end up being quite beneficial for them i think and it probably is a feature that a lot of people that use it still have basically called out for it does make some sense you know you don't want people jumping on whatsapp and instagram dms in order to get people's attention for certain things and if they're on the app itself you want them to spend as much time on there as possible you want them to have pop-up notifications on all that good stuff so it's great to see but again i i do see um 
now with 100 more DMs, I do see a future where they end up just going to a fully desktop platform. They end up turning it into basically its own version of like a Skype minus the video chats and whatnot. I definitely see that happening in a foreseeable future. But if you're still on Clubhouse now, then I'm going to pray for you regardless. 